Good afternoon and welcome to today's art prompt. Today's prompt is inspired by a hymn that I used to listen to um, and sing when I was in the choir at church and it is Breathe On Me Breath of God. And it is one of those things that reminds me that I can connect to God and to Creator just by simply taking a conscious deep breath. And so I am here to offer the first prompt. And I thought a great way to connect the breath with the artwork is to actually breathe out the paint onto the paper. So what we are going to do today is to just grab a piece of paper or a journal or an art book, some watercolors, paintbrush, and a water jar. Um, let's see what else do I have out? Some straws. And again, these are simple items that you find around your house. Um, I have toilet paper rolls and I have straws. I have different sizes of straws to experiment with on the paper. Um, I have used computer paper. I have used a um, journal, an art journal, um, watercolor paper. And then the watercolors that I have are just the cheap little palettes that you get at the store with colors in them. And I also have some ones in the tubes that are a little bit more expensive, but I just find that the ones that are, you know, one to five dollars at Michael's or at the dollar store work just fine for this art project. And I will be posting a video once I finish with this live of a demonstration of what we did. But what I did was I lit a candle and I grounded myself and I put some water onto the paper. And then I added some drops of color and then it would take a straw and blow through it. And so as I was blowing onto the canvas, the words, breathe on me, breath of God, fill me with life anew, that I might love what thou dost love and what thou would do. Breathe on me, breath of God, until my heart is pure, until with you I one will to do and to endure. And so as I was working on the project that I will post here shortly, um, I would just kept thinking about that hymn and you can Google um, Breathe On Me Breath of God on YouTube and it will um, come up on different versions and different artists and you can even play that for inspiration. Um, this is a project that will take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, depending on how much time you want to play with it. And I also encourage you to um, stop and take a breath break and just do some regular normal breathing because the breathing that you do for working with the straws can make you a little dizzy and a little lightheaded. But it is, um, so this is not something that can fully be rushed through. It's just kind of almost like the breathing that you would do with yoga or with the chant where you take in the breath and then you release and then you have to re relax and let go. And I find that when I am breathing consciously and intentionally with the artwork that this is what opens up the intuition and opens up my heart to hearing the messages from my soul and that come from Creator because when focusing on the breath, it stops the monkey mind. And again, this is an opportunity to not worry about the end result. This is just about being playful, 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 playful um, as you work and to not be attached to what the end result is. And the other thing is, is you can do this in layers. So you can do one layer and allow the paint to fully dry. And then you can go and add some more watercolor and see what that does. And I invite you to sit with your art project and turn it around in different ways and see what kind of image or what kind of message comes in there. Some things that you may wish to consider to journal after you have completed your project or have a journal with you as you are, are working on your project. Pay attention to sensations in your body, what they feel, are you feeling resistance? Are you wanting to be fully engaged in this? Um, 
what kind of feelings are coming up? What kinds of thoughts? What are your emotions? What images are you seeing in there? This is an opportunity to stretch the imagination muscle as you're creating with these lurbs of color on there and, and the streams of them and see how they interact and dance with each other and how does that mirror your life, your perception of your life. And one of the things I like to do is turn my book around and look for a different expression and perception because something might not jump out at you when you're looking at it, the angle when you first started creating it, but a quarter turn could sometimes all of a sudden make, oh, wow, there's something there. And that's often how the images begin to emerge in the artwork that I do that is fully meditative and intuitive. I don't try, I don't trace out anything. I just work with the medium and just allow them to emerge. So this is just a really light, fun, easy exercise to do. I would love to have your feedback on what your experience was. You can um, comment here and I can go back and respond to comments. And also I will be finding a place where we can have a private page where you can post your soulful masterpieces. I would, I am doing a private page because I know that since this is a spiritual practice and a very sacred piece, I don't want this to be fully out into the public and I want this to be a safe place where you can feel comfortable posting your artwork and sharing anything that came up with you on that. And I will have more information about that on our next, on our next prompt. And um, I will have a hyperlapse video posted after this go this live is done. I will upload that so that you can see. And I'll also have a couple of still shots of the end result. And um, this is new for me to do this, so be patient with me. This is the first time, and I know that each time we get together, it'll get better and better. And eventually we'll get to a place where we can do Zoom and we can... Um, have questions and answers and maybe even paint together just taking this one baby step at a time if you have any questions feel free to um, post them in the comments and I will be monitoring them and we'll get back to you and respond in any way that I can and I just invite you to allow yourself to be playful and to have fun 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 and this is your art moment for spiritual practice and I will see you on Friday for your next prompt. Have a good day. See you next time.